Greetings, Rise of the Republic readers. I'm James R. Byrne, and you join me in beautiful, sunny Queensland, Australia. Think Florida, but with bigger reptiles. So a few months ago, James Rassone was looking to expand into international markets somehow, some way. And I had an idea. So here in Townsville, no, not the Powerpuff Girls one, we have something called street libraries and they're run mostly by these guys. So what you do is uh, you got these birdcage shaped um, boxes that you put books in and you take books out of. It's a great way for secondhand books to get into circulation as opposed to sitting on the shelf and becoming food for bookworms and silverfish. So anyway, we were able to import at least eight Into the Stars books. They're right here. So I invite you, readers and viewers, to join me on a nice Monday drive into the libraries. <laughs> All right, so this piece of paper contains the libraries that we'll be going to, not counting the city ones. I would say that I have the Monroe Doctrine Volume 3 to listen to, but it's Monday, so the off-topic podcast. So let's start with the closest. It's in this street that I've listened to my first audiobook while walking to and from the gym. And I still can pick out a lot of points where um, big twists happened. <laughs> Here we are. Alright, first objective reached. Here we go. So this first one is on my street, the Stanton Terrace Library. Its description reads, Welcome to the quirkiest little street library in town. Fairy lights by night, a street library conversation book inside to answer all your philosophical questions. Well, how about that? This will look great next to Clive Cussler. <laughs> the eagle has landed. First of the day. See anything you like? All right, it's officially kicked off. Let's go. By the way, this is the city in question. Well, part of it at least. Townsville, a military garrison city with a long history that not many people know about. Until now. Hey, it's an army Chinook. In the future, there will be Osprey sailing off on that airport. So this second one is a really good one. The McKillop Street Community Library. Its description reads, Our library is for everyone. 2020 seemed like just the right time to build our street library and get it into action. It has seen plenty of interest. Not surprising, given the suburb that it's in. Belgian Gardens is a real, classically designed suburb. I love walking through these old school streets around all these buildings this will go well next to Outback Calling by someone named Armstrong how fitting oh wow that's the thing with these street libraries you'll find all sorts of stuff oh yeah this one sounds like something that BJ Harrison would narrate I do have many fond memories of listening to audiobooks while going for a walk in this suburb. They range from the classic New York accent narrated Jack Ryan to the British accent narrated H.G. Wells. Both of which are as classic as the suburb itself. Alright, so this next one is going to be quite a far reach out. This is the suburb of Palarenda, my father and uncle's old home. Known for its beaches and just general escapist feel to it. So at this point I somehow lost the piece of paper that had all those descriptions on it, but this one is the Bay Street Library. Hey, it's me from the future. I found it again. So. The one that you're going to see now is Bay Street Books. 
Decorated to display our love of Native ponds, this street library is a way for us to give back to our wonderful community. Feel free to take a book, give a book, or swap some books. Well, about that. Well, one thing is certain about this street library. There's certainly no stiff competition. There we go. Perfect. The one book to rule them all in this one. <laughs> so this is the street where my father and uncles used to live. There still exists a house here that we call Uncle Matthew's house. It's still going well. So this place has one of the amazing beaches that North Queensland is known for. But for now, I gotta focus on deliveries. There'll be more time for that later. If I started showcasing every suburb I went to, I would be here for a while. So let's just leave that for another YouTube video entirely. And heck, there are probably some on here right now. All right, now it's time for the big fish. The Aiken Vale City Library itself. And I have the donation request form. <laughs> By the way, for one entry, I, the question read, does any content specifically relate to Townsville and the surrounding community? Briefly explain and include page numbers if only minimal content relates. And my answer was, uh, no, but future entries in the series will. And what do I mean by that? Ask TC. All right, there it is. I've got the request form and the book. Here we go. All right, I'm going in. So there you have it. That went well. Oh, by the way, it was around here that I remember seeing a C-130 of the United States Navy flying around. It was one of those ones that could refuel helicopters. That was Sumo 87, according to Flight Radar 24. Here as part of Exercise Talisman Saver last year. That was amazing stuff. So just for the record, I don't expect this to become a frequent thing I do because the shipping prices right now, especially with large boxes like these, are awful. Alright, now here is a curveball. The other one, which took a fair amount of effort to get to, is the Wild Mines. No, Wild Mines, sorry, on Kurabe. Wild Mines, where the wild things live. A collection of stories, from young children's picture books to adult thrillers, and a few things in between. A few things in between, huh? huh. Adult thrillers, wild minds. That sounds like another thing BJ Harrison would narrate. So I personally didn't know that this suburb existed in Carabin Avenue. This was the closest one I could get to James Cook University over there because that's where a lot of our space development and other scientific excellence takes place. As well as CU, but you know, this will go look very good next to uh, Spot's first Christmas. Yeah, why not? That's not my plane. All right, now I gotta go back to the city, but how on earth do I get out of this suburb? I was just following the GPS in here. I didn't even know it existed. The university in question being this one. James Cook University. One of the biggest ones around. Alright, situation update. I'm now in West End. Gotta get some petrol because I am quite low. And I have three more books left. And I know a good place to put two of them. Alright, we're at the CBD. What a surprise. Parking is awful. So this place is the nerve center of the entire city. The brain. And speaking of centers, the Community Information Center, my old workplace. Here it is. Oh, that went very well. That's a podcast if you want to go check it out. And last one. This one is the Townsville City Library. Sure. A place where I actually may be published in the next few months. Okay. 
In 2019, there was a great flood that damaged most of the city. And I made a memoir of my days as a volunteer there. And it's going to be in there. Here we go. So there you have it. Oh, by the way, that's where my office used to be. At Community Information Center. What a nice place to work. <laughs> so yeah, that's that taken care of. Okay, so you're probably thinking, James, you left out one book. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that one. I'm saving that one for next time I go out to a town called Prairie. Because down south of there is an annual horse racing event at Corinna Falls. I can think of a street library, sort of, that's made out of a glass door fridge. And let me tell you, a book in there could possibly go for hundreds, maybe thousands of miles. But that will be in May. So until then, it's a job well done for today. So if you like that video, be sure to give it a like and maybe subscribe if you want to see some more epic content. I also have an account on fanfiction.net where I made two fanfic works in James Rassone's book universes. And there'll be more coming one day. So be sure to check that out. See you next time.